Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier, transactions are getting safer, and you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. I can hear you. Okay. Right, so for some reason I can't hear myself. Let me just, uh, here we go. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got going. But no, we appreciate it. Um, glad that uh, glad we're here on the campus of Holy Savior Menard. Uh, six seniors this uh, this signing class, coach for uh, for the baseball. But let's also talk about your whole senior class. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, a lot of seniors involved. Uh, a lot of district championships between football, softball, baseball. I know the girls' basketball team. 
great job. So let's talk about this senior class. Okay, you know, we and we've talked about this this week. Uh, you know, what what a great senior class. And if you if you look at the athletics over this past uh, school year. You know, starting out with football, but not just football. If you, you can throw the little sports in there, too. You can throw swim, cross country, track, and all those in there. We had tennis today, but we have a tremendous senior class, and the the numbers that they have put up this year are unprecedented. As you can look around this gym right now, you got six guys signing scholarships in six different schools. You know, we played for the state championship last year. Um, we're ranked that they put in and the commitment that they have. And uh, they come from great families. And we're just, you know, so, so lucky to have them on our campus and representing us. And today is a great day to be an uh, Eagle, and they're representing us so well. So, man, yeah, and we're going to miss these guys. And they've left, they've left the legacy here. And they've left that legacy here for our younger kids. And, and the, the big thing as a coach for me is that these younger kids get to, to get, got to watch this and be on their team, and now they can figure out how to get it done. And, that's that's big for us here at Holy Savior Menard. What is the graduating class this year? How many? Yes. Uh, 60, 61. Okay. And, that, and uh, so for the 7th to 12th grade, there's, what, almost 260, 270 kids? Exactly. We're around 320 uh, enrollment, counting the junior high. So uh, absolutely, you know, we're a small school, 2A school. Uh, most of our Athletes play multiple sports. Just about every one of these guys that are out here played football well, on my team, not all, but or played another sport. So, uh, you know, like I said, we encourage it here. And, um, you know. The, um, how many seniors did you have on your football team? I know, I know you and Tom had covered that, but just – yeah. Let everybody knows. We had 12, 12 okay. seniors, right? 12 to have such a big senior class like that. And, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, you know, we're going to miss those guys. And I'm, I'm going to talk football-wise right here is, is every one of those guys started. So, uh, you know, it's it's great opportunity for the guys that are that are left back. And, you know, and I use that in speeches and talks with them and say, you know, guys, we got a whole bunch of positions open. So, uh, you know, the motivation should be there. And you've seen what these guys do. You've seen the commitment and you've seen the results. Coach, if you don't mind, we're going to go to break. I'm going to try to figure out my headset. I think I may have something plugged in wrong. And if you'll stick around, we'll, we'll, we'll talk in a few more minutes. You're Absolutely. Watching, you're watching Eagle Baseball and football. Central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. And welcome back to Eagles Nest, where we are now live. We can you can hear me. I'm sorry about that, Coach. Uh, you know, had a we good first now. time. First time I've set this up all by myself, and I uh, was a little nervous. But uh, yeah, I had I had two wires mixed up. But uh, let's talk about how many sport, or let's talk about how many sports are at Holy Savior Menard for a school this size. How many sports? Yes, sir. Uh, I think we have a right around uh, do, 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 let's say 14. Okay. Even and, and, and even yeah, and then you know you've got boys and girls basketball, and boys right. and girls soccer. So sure. so uh, yeah, and uh, you know like I said earlier, you know we, we've we've had a great great athletic season this year. You know we we've had all state competitors, we've had all district competitors, all city law, all parish, and you know multiple team 
district championships. You know, we've won a, a, a team state championship in indoor girls track. And then, like I said, we've had individual state champions. So, man, just a great year. And not just from our seniors. You know, this is the senior day. But, right. you know, it's kind of been all across the board. Okay, excellent. Yeah, uh, my background soccer mainly and uh, coached against you guys when I was at Grace. And uh, the soccer program, the senior class this year, <laughs> was was a phenomenal group as well. So, uh, so yeah, on this on this senior day sign, and, uh, yeah, it, it's amazing how, how many you all have. Uh, I know that uh, you guys are active in, in bowling. You have a, <laughs> the Holy Rollers, which, uh, you know. And they're good. Yeah, multiple guys on the on the uh, baseball team are, are part of that. Yeah. Um, Talk about talk about the the memory that you're going to have of, of this district championship in football. Well, you know, this was my first year to be the head football coach. You know, I've coached many years here, but first as head coach. So anytime you can step in and, and win a district championship in any sport at any level, you know, it's a, it's a good accomplishment. But, you know, we were coming off some struggling years. And uh, so, you know, and, and, I, and I had talks with the coaches about this. You know, we, we wanted to give this particular senior class who, who had had success in baseball, obviously, but hadn't had any success in football. And, man, we, we talked about it in the fall and said, man, what a great – how great would it be if these guys could have some success in football and go out on top. And, man, they worked hard. And we, you know, we put in a lot of hours. And, you know, we, we, we won the district championship. We got, we got the host of playoff game. We won that, man. We, we, we lost to the eventual state champion, yeah. you know, so, you know, it, it, for me, great memories. I will always remember it. I am an alum here. You know, I played football here. We won district championship here as a player. I did. So, you know, to be able to do that as a player and then to be able to do that as a coach, man, I mean, it doesn't any get any better than that. Yeah, uh, I'm a Bolton alum, played ball with your, with your offense coordinator, Julio. He was our quarterback my senior year. and uh, Great quarterback. I, yeah, I was picking on him a little bit about uh, where's old Coach Parmley's right 40 sweep. You know, I watched I watched your games, and he did he did elaborate to me at the last coach's show for softball that we kind of run it, Nick. We just we run out of the pistols a little different. So, uh, so it's great to see Julio. I know your coaching staff. Uh, of course, we know Coach Thomas Scully, how great of a job he does on the defense side. I'm, I'm sure your whole staff is uh, is solid and a bunch of great guys. So congratulations on that. Uh, you know, I appreciate you taking your time to uh, to do this. I know it's kind of last minute. I put you, I put you on we the clock. We like it. Yeah, I put you on the clock. appreciate you guys allowing us to do this as 446 Sports. We have covered, obviously, football softball baseball we've also done some soccer games right and, uh, and we and basketball we look, yeah yeah that's right tom's done basketball so yep. so we definitely look forward to uh to, to more opportunities here appreciate coach uh, i call him coach gallon he was he was coach gallon whenever i was, and I whenever still I was call him coach. <laughs> right so i appreciate coach gallon i appreciate miss lynn roy helping set this up uh, this is a uh, this is an event for for these young men that uh that's really exciting to see and uh, and i appreciate your time and uh if you guys need anything you let us know absolutely and we want to thank y'all for covering us and getting our sports and and, and more than just sports out right. there to our community and to Menard community but also just the alexandria community and just kind of see what we're all about and y'all are a big part of that and we thank y'all appreciate it coach you're watching the the signing day for Menard eagle baseball 446 sports in central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. And welcome back to the campus, Holy Savior Menard in Alexandria, uh, Louisiana. I'm joined by Coach Jordan Marks. Man, what a day. No, it's you a know. very special day. Yeah, uh, Coach, we're going to visit a little bit before we're going to we're going to try to interview all the guys if they're if they're willing to do it, to, you know, talk, talk to them and ask a few questions. But just talk about this group of young men. No, I mean, and not just D6, but, but right. all the seniors are, you know, very, very hard workers. Uh, we drilled it into them in a at a young age when they first got to Holy Savior Menard and, and in the baseball program. Uh, and, and it shows, you know, uh, hard work beats talent when, when talent doesn't work hard. So uh, these guys come each and every day. They know what to expect. They know what they need to do to get it done. Um, and, and they take it amongst themselves to do it. Uh, 
these, these guys, and I've said it, you know, quite a few times, you got to kick these guys out of the cage. You know, they stay here till eight, nine o'clock at night. Some of them are here at six thirty in the morning, um, and, and and they they do all the right things. You know, they they work on stuff. They're not just going through the motions, um, and. and you know that's a lot of it. Man, my, my my personal opinion is is you know their work ethic is is second to none. Uh, not to mention they believe in each one of you know in each other. So um, you, you put those two things together and you'll have success. Well, I was talking to to Coach Larue uh, later uh, latter part of last week, and mm -hmm. one of the things that he mentioned is, with the exception of Natchitoches Central, he doesn't think that this senior class has lost a, a game in the Sin Law area to a Sin Law team that's been on the schedule. Now I know that you all you all can't schedule everybody and I know some people won't schedule, you know. I mean I, I just know that's the way it is. But uh if that's the case, that's very impressive. Sure. And I mean that's not gonna happen every year. Uh, right. that's always the goal. But when when that does happen, you know you enjoy it and, and, and you know, get to brag about it around town a little bit. Mm -hmm. I run into people all the time say, hey, man, did y'all beat Ash this year? Wow, that's good. 2A school beat a 5A school. Did y'all beat Pineville? Yeah, we beat Pineville. So, uh, you know, that that's always good to to, to hold your head up high when, when, you know, you're talking to people amongst the community. And, and that's another thing. This community has, you know, this Menard community or the Alexandria community uh, has the backs of these baseball guys. You know, they, they believe in the program. You guys do a great job, you know, putting the word out for us um, and, and, and you know it's all positive stuff so good things that are happening yeah I'm looking at the slideshow and I, I think our camera up top uh, was able to get a good bit of it there's a speaker in the way but uh but it's I like the mix of the photo you probably hadn't had a chance to look at it but there's the mix of the action pictures there's a mix of the serious pictures and there's some a mix of the uh of the the kind of clowning around pictures as well it just kind of you know like Jaden right there on yeah. that one and, and Ben you know it just kind of kind of shows the the character these guys have you know they know when to they know when to 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 be you know business like they know when they can enjoy it and that's that's a great thing you guys finished last night we of course the show we we were able to. We were talking about um, the Buckeye game, but but now we know the result. Six to one last night. Um, you guys did a great job. Um, we're gonna um, gonna focus on Friday night. We're still doing the the marathon with, with, with South, <laughs> South Bogo. Bogo. Yep, okay. no doubt, no doubt. So, It'll be little two two six inning intervals. Okay, uh, probably. But but you were talking about earlier. You know these guys know when, and we talk about it as a team. There, there's a light switch and when it's time to go you know we flip that light switch we turn the switch on and, and you know when it's not these guys turn the switch off and they have a good time being kids you know so it, it's it's a good balance excellent excellent well we're going to take a break and when we come back from the break we're going to have coach turney on uh, appreciate you coach jordan appreciate, appreciate you allowing you. us to do this you're watching the senior ceremony signing ceremony from uh, minority eagle baseball four four six sports at Certified Transmission, you can count on our certified mechanics with over 35 years experience to get your vehicle fixed right and get you back on the road. Got transmission problems? Go where you go. Certified Transmission. Time for our red, white, and cool summer event at Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Right now, you can save on a new energy saving system. No money down, 0% interest, and no payments till June 2024. Call Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing or visit us online. And welcome back to the campus of Holy Savior Menard in Alexandria, Louisiana. Now joined by Coach Brad Turney. And, uh, man, just talk about these six. I mean, see, whole senior class, but talk about these six in particular. I mean, you start with the whole senior class. I mean, when you're senior heavy like we are, we're graduating 14 guys. And to have six of them going on to the next level, that's just astronomical. Because, I mean, what's the uh, percentage of high school athletes that go play on college teams? It's like four and a half, maybe 5% of high school baseball players going to the next level. So, to have that many in one one sitting, it's it's pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, and then let I mean then then you could talk about how many of these how many they go from, you know, let's say they start travel baseball. What now? You ten year old, eleven year old? Right. You know? When I started in travel baseball, I started with a ten year old group. Okay. So, I mean, and a lot of these guys have been together that long, and Jordan's been a part of their lives since uh, probably their eleven or twelve year old year. So. 
um, to have this kind of a group to stay together that long and to just see the success they're having, uh, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, there's so many, like I so said, there's so many local players. I mean, just look at the look, look at the local baseball teams that we have, and, uh, and and don't get me wrong, some of them some of them decide just go to college to you know for the education, have a good time, you know, they're they're you know go where their parents went or something. But you know, when when these guys take this commitment, I had a, had a son that you know went and played college soccer and. Uh, Man, it's work. It's a lot it of work. Really is. And, and it, it turns into a job at the next level. Cause that's then, right. And then you got somebody that's on your grades all the time. I mean, it's one thing to be a student athlete in high school, but to be a student athlete in college is a completely different story. Um, but I, I don't see any of these guys having a problem with that because, I mean, you look at their grade point averages a, across the board. It, it's, I mean, all of them are 3.5 and higher. Wow. I mean, it's good. We got smart kids, and they're good athletes. So I mean, I think they're going to have a lot of success at the next level. Excellent. Well, let's talk about uh, let's talk about just this um, this this group of six here that that are signing. Okay, how much involvement you, Coach Jordan? I mean, with the with the colleges, is it? I mean, do they usually go direct to the players, the coaches, uh, high school coach? How, how involved? With, with the signing process or you guys? Uh, Jordan's probably involved a lot more than I am. Okay. I'm just on the coaching side of things. So mm -hmm. um, coaches are going to contact Jordan. They're going to contact the kids. Typically when they come and watch them play, um, they already have a heads up from Coach Jordan, what they're looking for, things like that. But uh, it's funny when they actually come to watch these kids play, they're not watching them to succeed. They're, right. They are there to watch them because they know they're successful. They know they're good. They want to see them fail and what kind of character they have, how they interact with their parents, things like that. And um, a, a lot of these guys are really, really good individuals away from the baseball field as well as good baseball players on the field. And I'm glad you brought up the word fail. And, and I know that's a that's a kind of people think that's a, a dirty word. But you know what? Every day we fail. Every day we, we, we make decisions that don't work. But you know what? In, in sports, okay, baseball, it's you can be a, you can be a millionaire going three for ten. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's hard for young kids to grasp. Yeah. Um, because you have to learn how to fail gracefully in right. order to be successful in this game, and it, it, it's unlike any other sport. I mean, you shoot thirty percent from the line in the basketball, you're not playing. That's right. Oh, unless you're Shaquille, then you can go like 50%, but you're right. <laughs> right, you bring other things to the game. You're exactly right. right. No, I agree completely. So, uh, well, Coach, we appreciate your time as always. We're going to go ahead and try to filter some of the players through here. Uh, once again, man, it's been it's been a great season. Yes, sir. Uh, look forward to Friday. We're going to we're gonna broadcast Friday and then then definitely the following week. Yep, look appreciate forward to it. You, Coach. Appreciate it, Nick. Thanks a lot. You're, you're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. Proud to support high school athletics on 446 Sports. BK is the one-stop shop for trophies, banners, awards, letter jackets, and just about anything award-related. And now, welcome BK Apparel and BK Promotions to the family. For all your spirit apparel needs and anything you need to brand your business, when you think of anything you need with your name on it, think BK. Check them out on Facebook or at bkdistrib.com. BK Distributors, apparel and promotions in Pineville. And welcome back to the Eagles Nest here. I'm joined by Drake Aldridge, and Drake has, has signed officially yes, with the <laughs> Louisiana, Louisiana Christian University. Uh, you know, old school boys like me call it LC. But, uh, man, let's talk about that. Talk about the decision to go to LCU. Yes, yeah, sir. It was easy by far. Okay. I mean, Coach Burns and all the coaches staff, they're really nice. Of the players, it's, it's like a family year around. And it's so fun, and you laugh constantly. I love to laugh. Like I'm grinning right now. I can't stop grinning. <laughs> That's so, awesome, man. That's what it's all about. Question for you: are You gonna you gonna live on campus? Do you have to live on? How does that work? I'm not for sure yet, but okay. I'm probably gonna live on campus because I live a little ways out towards Natchitoches. Okay. Okay. But, yes, sir. So, what's your major? What you plan on majoring in? I want to go to the pre med. Okay. Yes, to sir. be a radiologist. Radiologist, man, that's excellent. So uh, now, I'm glad you're staying here. Now, are you thinking about after college? I know. After college, you think about staying locally? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I, I plan on it, and the only other place I'd move to is uh, Dallas. Okay, nothing wrong with that. But, uh, nothing wrong with that. So, um, 
Let's let's talk about this season, you know, and 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 also talk about, you know, I mean, yes, we have six here, but you have, you know, thirteen other other brothers that are seniors on this team. So, talk yes, about sir. ended the regular season yesterday, yes, beat sir. Buckeye, big win. Okay, yes, so kind of undefeated with the local teams. We'll, we won't count Natchitoches Central, but uh, yeah, in the parish, in the parish, we're in undefeated. Parish. So, uh, let's talk about your season, man. What's the what's the thing that uh, that really probably most best memory of this season? This season so far. Uh, watching Schmoopy hit the walk off against oh. uh, Iota. Cause, okay. I mean, we got run ruled last year by the worst game of our lives, and we come back and we beat them this year. I mean, and look, that's a good ball club. I think they're, I think they're number one in their in their division right now. And that's one thing that Coach Danny, who who usually is on the broadcast with us, he pointed out that uh, of the losses. Okay, we're talking about teams that are like ranked seventh and and, and higher in their division. So, yes, so that's sir. all right. So, t tell the crowd who you said so you said Scoopy or Snoopy? You Smoopy. Smoopy. Tell the crowd who Smoopy is because Nate, Nate Bill. Okay, our third okay. Base okay. That's, that's the first time we've heard that. So I, I don't know if we're gonna put it on air or not after this, but uh, you know, but that's that's a great. I'm, I'm that's the thing I like, and that's why I want you guys to be yourselves. That's yes, the sir. things that that. People will talk about and remember. You'll remember this. I mean, I'm going on a 30-year, you know, 30-year um, reunion this year. Yes, and sir. Coach Julio, which you know Coach Julio, Coach Julio and I were talking about our football days and our baseball days at the Coach's Show. And it, it's it's not that we don't have a life. It's just it's just these are memories. So, yes, so okay, so we're going to LCU, majoring in pre-med, hopefully going to be a radiologist. Okay, what else does what else does this community need to know about Drake Aldridge? I'm a big time hunter. It's okay. my favorite thing to do other than baseball. Okay. I love any well, two animals, turkey and deer. <laughs> okay, okay. And, do you, do you like to fish as well or just mainly hunt? I like to bow fish. Okay. Because oh. I don't have the patience to bass fish or <laughs> white perch fish. I like to sit out there and shoot stuff with my bow. That's why I chinky pin fish. So I, I like brim fishing. So because uh, oh, <laughs> I, I don't, I'd much rather that than bass yes, fishing. Yes, same here, same here. Well, man, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you, man. You, you've been a You've been a delight to interview. You've uh, you've been a lot of fun to watch, and I uh, appreciate you. Thanks. And good luck on your future, brother. Yes, sir. Thank Thanks you. a lot. You're watching Eagle Baseball Four Four Six Sports. Hi, I'm Kimberly Harrell, Certified Residential Appraiser. I am currently a leading provider of appraisal services for mortgage lending, employee relocation, estate planning, and community property settlements. My experience in real estate over the past 13 years and currently serving as president of the Greater Central Louisiana Realtors Association has given me a clear understanding of the real estate world and the ever-changing market we live in today. For any of your valuation needs, give me Kimberly Harrell a call. And welcome to the, back to the campus of Holy Savior Menard. And I'm now joined by the man behind the dish, Ben Wade. And yes, uh, look, I got to tell you, man, I, I looked it up today. Of course, we knew that you were the we knew you were traveling the furthest distance. You know how many miles it is from your baseball field to campus? I think it's 1600. Yep. 1626. 1626. OK, I knew so it was something like that. you driving over and then and having a vehicle over there you're gonna fly and ship okay, stuff so have you decided all right so i leave june 6th the first time to play summer ball and i'm gonna fly over there okay thank god <laughs> and then um around august 17th roughly i'll we'll, we're gonna get in the bronco and drive over there okay cool so what exactly is um what, what do they consider summer ball uh so it's a summer league it's called the pscl i think okay I think that's what it's called and all it is is um, a bunch of JUCO guys or a bunch of D1 setbacks go. So it's just going to be a bunch of baseball, and I'm on the coach's team and everything. So he gets to get a feel for me for the first couple of months before I actually get into real baseball with him. Four-year college? Two-year JUCO. Two-year, okay. Juco. So it is, okay. And I, I, did, I meant to research that, and I, I noticed the case is, is, a, is a JUCO as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, so two years there, what, then what's your, what's your goal from there? 
two years there, and then after that, I'm hoping to get to a four-year college with baseball. Okay. And then after that, it's kind of just like wherever God puts me. Mm -hmm. And if it's, um, oh, I get to go play baseball again in another place and get to go play bigger, we'll do it. If not, I'll fall back on my degree that I get from whatever four-year college I graduate from and want to be a chiropractor. I got you. So two years there. So does that does that take two years eligibility from a four-year school, or can you transfer? It takes two. It so does. So you, okay. you start two, and then you can only play your junior and senior year at a four-year. Okay. All right. So, And, of course, you already talked about your major there. Um, how College of the Desert, where did that come from? Uh, it's kind of a funny story, sure. but, like, I don't really want to say it because it may disrespect some coaches. Well, I mean, you don't, you don't have to. I mean, it, you don't. I mean, it, we can. But it, I was on a visit at another college, and one of the guys there, he was like, have you ever heard about this college? I was like, I've seen it on Twitter here and there. He's like, well, I went there. You want the coach's number? I said, why not? And about, I texted him like a Saturday or something, and he texted me back Monday night, and we're hitting on the field. And he's like, hey, man, like, just give me all your, just let's have a conversation. So we had a conversation, and my, like a month or two went by, and we, um, it was right around Thanksgiving break. And then months went by, and then January, I went on a visit, and I said, all right, this is it. This is where we're going to go. You know, and, and I watch a, a lot of college recruiting, uh, especially in, uh, you know, for, for LSU, and uh, that happens a lot. There's a lot right. of times that, the, you know, guys are on visits at other campuses and they meet up and they, you know, chemistry forms and everything. And, and you know, making contacts like that, there's nothing wrong with that because right. you have this opportunity one time. Right. I mean, you really exactly. do. Out of high school, you have this opportunity one time. So mm -hmm. so uh, I'm glad I'm glad to hear that. Um, uh, you know, Coach Danny, who's usually on the broadcast, but he said that's another part of. He said that's another country over there, just because yeah. of how many mi how many miles it yeah, is away. It's, but it's uh, pretty far, not yeah. gonna lie. So you're gonna drive over there in the Bronco with with hopefully Steve and Donna. I think it's gonna be Steve. Steve, okay. I actually don't know. <laughs> I know I know Donna's coming with me the first time to fly. Okay, okay. She's more, she's more of a flyer. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And then Steve's so. more of a driver, so I think they're gonna equal it out. Okay, that'll work. Nothing wrong with that. And not then, at uh, all. And then, so you'll have the Bronco over there, and then Steve will Steve will fly back. Steve's gonna fly back. Okay. And I'll be in college, and <laughs> got to figure out life on my own, and learn how to wash clothes and everything. So. Have you checked to see how much gas prices are over there? That might be something. I think it's, I think it's like seven thirty something. Ooh. ooh okay. When we went, when we went in April, not April. Ooh. When we went in January, it was like seven to six, and I was like, I don't know about this one. <laughs> You'll, as long as long as the parents pay for it, oh, we're good. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Here we go. No, you'll you'll definitely get you'll you'll adapt and uh and hopefully I will say this the the, the great thing about baseball is um whenever you get on campus I know you guys are going to start baseball stuff but when you get on campus you'll end up uh you'll end up making that adjustment and then you'll get into the season you know in the right. spring I know you'll do fall baseball but. But focus on those grades, you know, because, right. man, without those, you're not going to be able to play. That's, that's exactly so. right. Well, you're, you're watching Ben Wade on 446 Sports. Appreciate your time. And, uh, and man, it's been, it's been a joy to cover you guys and especially you behind the plate. Appreciate yes, it, sir. man. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at three. Welcome back to the campus of Holy Savior Menard, where we're now joined by by Cohen Larue, and Cohen's going to sit in there. If you can't see on his shirt, yeah, you can see good right there. Uh, I was picking at your dad about me not having a hat, and he, of course, he he called me out, said I don't wear hats, which is accurate. So, why sitting there? Uh, I mean, I want to go play baseball on another level. 
I wanted to, I've always wanted to, but I've also cared so much about my school, and I know that's what's going to get me farther in life than baseball. So I think Centenary was a firm foundation. They're accepting trade from the medical school. Oh, we've got the, got the peanut gallery here. The coaches get to get to pick on them here. But, uh, no, so so talking about medical school, okay, um, any certain field on the medical field that you want to don't really, know yet? or I mean, nothing certain. I, I mean. You. I mean, I really don't know until I probably, like, shadow some more people. But I really like anesthesiology and okay. the cardiovascular system. That's my, I guess, two that I, I mean, I'll probably start off with and see what I like, what I don't like. That's good. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. So when you get there, you think you're going to pitch, play in the field, do both, or what? Well, I mean, it was originally just a pitch, but, I mean, oh. it's probably just a pitch, but, like, I've always, I mean, I love hit, I love hitting, and I mean, I haven't hit that bad this year. <laughs> so, oh man, that's fun. You know, it's fun that these guys get to do this, and uh, man, and I, I appreciate, appreciate you all uh, doing this. So, talked about, talked to last night. You guys finished regular season, mm -hmm. okay, twenty and eight. You had twenty wins, eight losses. So, uh, I'm, I'm kind of bragging about it you guys are undefeated in sin law you know we're not going to count Nacogdoches central i've said that for three times now but uh <laughs> but let's talk about uh let's talk about the, now the regular season's over mm -hmm. you know we had the non-district was preseason, regular season or district was regular season let's talk about going forward what are you guys looking for in the playoffs well usually when the when the playoffs hit we have to we have to flip a switch you know you, you switch from being able to lose a game but we still have to take serious you can't take a game off but now it's every single inning, every single pitch matters. You can't, you can't take a pitch off. You can't slack off. You, you got to know what to do in your at-bat. You got to, I mean, you can't mess up nearly as much. Have you always, uh, all, since you've been at Menard, has it always been best two out of three in the playoffs? Yes, sir. The, okay. uh, well, the, the second round, first round, second round, then quarters, and then the then, semis. Right, right, when you get mm -hmm. to sulfur, that's, that's correct. So, uh, so you like that setup? I mean, I do. I think I think a best two out of three. How everything should go. So it it definitely it definitely sees the depth of the pitching staff mm -hmm. for sure. And and you guys have done really well on that. So um, I know we talked about um, you you were kind of on the unlucky side of some of the some of the wins you know or some of the losses on the first part of the year. Over you know since since district started and then last night with Buckeye. So do you think? It's just been the 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 caliber of I'm not gonna say the caliber. Let me let me rephrase that. Do you think what's happened now now the hitting with your ball club has mm -hmm. caught up to the pitching? Because I, I know the first of the year you guys weren't hitting the ball as well, yourself included. Mm -hmm. it, it took you a little bit of time going, so it's not like you're you know throwing your your teammates under. But so you think your hitting has has, has you know come up and um, and really you know kind of balanced out with the pitching and the defense. I, I think 100% that would that would be the case. Just I mean, we had to wake up the bats because at the start of the year it was, I mean, it was slow. But I think if you throw us in a couple games that we lost back in the couple first five, first day, I, I mean, it's definitely close to ball games. Yeah, 100%. It'd be, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to call a few of those too. So, um, but look, man, I appreciate it. I, you know, I mean, I, I'm glad you're staying close. Uh, you're not far. Uh, I was uh I was looking at the uh, I think you're like 161 miles from home so you're not far from your parents but you're far enough to where you'll get that oh staying on campus yes sir. you guys have to stay on campus okay so uh, Coach Jordan's talking to us okay so well man I appreciate it. we're gonna try to get Coop and and and, and Case on here but uh man it's, it's it's been fun watching you guys and, and calling calling your games and I appreciate the time yes sir Thank thanks you, a lot. Nick okay. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. Hi, I'm Kimberly Harrell, Certified Residential Appraiser. I am currently a leading provider of appraisal services for mortgage lending, employee relocation, estate planning, and community property settlements. My experience in real estate over the past 13 years and currently serving as president of the Greater Central Louisiana Realtors Association has given me a clear understanding of the real estate world and the ever-changing market we live in today. For any of your valuation needs, give me Kimberly Harrell a call.
And welcome back to the campus of Holy Savior Menard in Alexandria, Louisiana, joined by Case Butterfield. So, uh, man, congratulations on the signing. We're going to uh, to Southern Arkansas uh, Tech, University Tech. So um, talk to me. How did that come about? Um, well, SAA put me, you know, in contact with the coach and uh, went up for a kind of practice with the team. And then after practice, coach offers me on the spot, and I just knew that's where I wanted to be. Okay, I looked it up. It's to your campus. It's a junior college. Okay, so plans after that, you uh, you you going to try to progress with baseball? Yes, sir. Okay, so um, whenever you're whenever you're, I've seen that you've pitched a few times, but probably majority, you know, in college is going to be be playing outfield and hitting. Hoping to uh, step away from pitching after high school. <laughs> okay. That's for sure. Yeah, it's not always the not always the most fun, is it? So. Uh, uh -huh. Let, all right, let's talk about we, we had you on the show earlier in the year, okay, and we were talking about your favorite moment. Has that favorite moment changed since then now that, now that you're through the regular season? Um, I think the season as a whole has kind of been the favorite moment. You know, it, it, it's a fun year. Last year, you know, just leave everything out on the field. Okay, so so the home run? Yeah. Okay, I, I thought so. Okay, and I and once again, man, I appreciate that. That was my that was my first home run call ever called. So that was that was a lot of fun as well. So um, talk about these talk about this these seniors that are that are here with you. You know, um, I know they're your brothers. I know there's 13 other ones. I, I know today we're we're celebrating just the signees. But talk about the senior group. You know, it it takes all 13 of us. I mean, you know, from. Cooper going up and hitting that walk off against Rose Pond to, you know, Nap just being that fun kind of guy in the clubhouse. I mean, it takes all of us to have success on this team. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to see Menard being in the position we are without all of them. And that's great. Look, uh, my, my youngest son was in college for almost two years in Arkansas. It's a wonderful place. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of fun things to do up there. Uh, of course, uh, I have a customer that says it's the best water to drink, so <laughs> so so enjoy that. But uh, man, I, I'm it's been a lot of fun to to call your games. It's been a lot of fun to uh, to see you play, to meet you, to meet your parents. Your parents have been a, a lot of fun. Uh, and and I, I have a public apology. I was I was complaining because nobody brought me cake, but they actually did. So uh, so I had to apologize there to Coach Jordan. But uh, but Case, man, it's been a lot of fun. We we appreciate you guys. Uh, allowing us to do this man I got something getting hung here so there we go much better so but um hey, is there anything you want to anything you want to tell the tell the camera you know before before you, you sign off um thanks to my mom and dad for you know all the sacrifices they put in yeah you definitely wouldn't be here without them and your brother he's, he's part of the porch crew He's done. He's done a lot of things. A lot of cooking. Yeah. So appreciate it. you. You've been. We've been talking to Case Butterfield here, uh, outfielder for for your Eagles, and uh, and we'll be right back on four four six sports. Time for our red, white, and cool summer event at Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Right now, you can save on a new energy saving system. No money down, 0% interest, and no payments till June 2024. Call Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, or visit us online. And welcome back to the campus of Holy Savior Menard here in Alexandria. I'm now joined by Cooper Scott, who's the leadoff batter, plays right field majority of the time, and also pitch. So, Cooper, Louisiana Univers State University at Eunice. Yes, sir. So, what made you choose that place? Uh, definitely the winning program that they have built there. It was definitely something that I uh, was looking at. And uh, whenever I got the offer, I just knew that I wanted to go there, so I took it. Gonna pitch and play in the field, mainly play in the field. Uh, just play in the field. Okay, hit. yes, sir. I got you. So uh, we were talking before we got on air uh, about places to eat there. Cohen's dad's from that area, mm -hmm. so uh, you know he's he's south of the four way as he as he calls his catering business. So he can definitely tell you. We went and visited um, that campus there. Uh, my son took a he, he took his ACT down there, and uh, it's a nice place. And their baseball facility is 
is second to none for junior yes, college, sir. and uh, and they've they've produced a lot of athletes that have gone on to the to the next level. So is that your plan? You want to move on to the next level from yes, there? Yes, sir. That's my plan to uh, get as much playing time as possible and get exposure with the first two years, then go somewhere after that. Okay. What you what you major? Uh, I think I'm going to do something around finance. Okay. Okay. You plan on coming back here? Don't know. Oh, you do? I think I do. Yes, Excellent, sir. man. That's what I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. As a local boy, I definitely glad to hear that. So uh, tell the tell the camera, tell the crowd, what's uh, what's Cooper Scott like to do when he's not playing baseball? Mm. I just started up taking golf again. Oh, okay. Uh, I kind of got off of it because it kind of messed up my swing a little bit. Oh, but yeah. Then, uh, I started playing it again, and I'm I'm hitting fine. So it's. It's just going well. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your hitting. Let's talk about how it, it took a little while to get to get going this year, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but you're definitely rounding into shape there. Was it um, was it caliber competition? Was it just that you were pressing? Was it just uh, maybe thought it was going to be a little bit easier than, especially after last year? What do, what do you think it was? Definitely pressing and expectations from last year definitely got to me a little bit, but um, this this back half of the season i've kind of relaxed more and just just been swinging knowing that i can hit the ball whenever i need to and uh it's it's been working okay so we had we had you on the show and we asked your favorite memory of of menard baseball okay there's been a there's been an event yeah. that's happened since has that has that favorite memory changed definitely has <laughs> i think it was, my, my last one was rose pine walk off last year huh yep yeah and it, rose of pine walk off this year definitely tops that uh it's definitely something to remember and something i never thought would happen i don't know if miss becky told your mom but she was there for that game okay and she was standing right she yeah. ducked and the ball went right <laughs> over her head hit her. <laughs> it went right over her head and it ended up under her car that's why we, that's why we couldn't find the ball but uh yeah what a memory i, I believe i kind of i kind of sound like a kid whenever i called it it was it was pretty exciting we couldn't quite and then uh coach danny and i he, he was he was debating on if it was fair or foul mm -hmm. because he was looking at mr daryl campbell had put a post for yeah. for a roof and it, he was looking at that post. He wasn't looking at the. Uh, but we went back and we watched it on Channel Five, and uh, and we saw that it was it was definitely fair. And I was looking at the umpire, and he called it fair. So I'm glad, man. Glad to be a part of that. Glad to be a part of this season. Mm -hmm. You guys have been a joy to watch, and joy to cover. So um, anything you want to tell the camera before? Uh, I'm just excited to go forward with my life. Excellent, man. Appreciate it. You you you've been in. We've been interviewing Cooper Scott here, the the outfielder pitcher for. Uh, for your Eagles on 446 Sports. Yes, sir. Thank you. Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier, transactions are getting safer, and you have access 24 7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. There are some things in life you can fix, and some things are better left to the professionals. When your vehicle has transmission problems, what will you do? Go where you know. Go where you know, certified transmission. And welcome back to the campus of Holy Savior Menard and Alexandria. I'm joined by Jaden Williams. So, uh, man, I want to apologize because uh, we've been trying to get you on the show, but I didn't I didn't realize the Sunday evenings you were working. So I appreciate that. That's why we do the show on Sunday evenings is because that's, yes, the, only, that's the only time you guys don't have games. So, uh, so that's why Jaden hadn't been on the show. So, look, we're going to hit you with the show questions and then the questions for the ceremony, okay? So, yes, so question we have. Favorite food, not a restaurant. Favorite food. What's your favorite food? All right, favorite food. I'm gonna have to go with probably just like nachos. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I <laughs> yes, had nachos sir. last night, so uh, <laughs> you gotta watch it though, because when you stop playing, you start looking like me with the nachos. So, <laughs> all right. So I know you play multiple sports at Menard. So let's talk about your favorite memory of Menard baseball. Yes, sir. Uh, favorite memory definitely uh, winning district champs for football this year. Okay. For the first time and as many years as they did. That was a great uh, memory. It always stick with me because, like, 
we made history so it's like you can't forget it yeah for sure and actually coach Perkins we interviewed him earlier in the in the show and, and he was talking about that as well talking about how successful this senior class you guys have been in baseball so he was he was excited about the about the football your walk-up song what's your what's your walk-up song uh, swag and surfing <laughs> <laughs> yes sir <laughs> I like it I like it yes sir. all right so uh, this is one we added kind of kind of late to the uh to like the last four or five weeks okay and and look, you, you got to vote for this one this past week by by Nap 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 told us uh, best dancer best on dancer. on the baseball team. Best dancer, uh, besides me, of course. Oh I no, uh, you can say you. That's what it's uh, all about. Nah, I'm gonna go with uh, Carter. Though. Carter okay. Carter. Okay. Carter. Oh, Gavin, Gavin. Too, oh, Gavin, Gavin can move. Too. Okay. Gavin All right. So it. now we have four. We have four with <laughs> votes. So you know, that, that's good stuff there. Yes, sir. Um, whenever you're not, you know, playing baseball, football, what, what, what do you like to do away from the, away from the field? Um, I like to just relax most of the time, but I do love playing basketball. Outside. Okay. That's a good hobby I like to do. You know, keep you in shape and stuff. Keep you energized. You know. Did you play basketball for Bernard? No, no okay. sir. I got you. No, okay. I, I just like to do it for fun. I, okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, so, sir. um, Wiley College. Yes, sir. Why, what, what what made you choose Wiley College? Uh, they showed a lot of interest, and it's just a great. It's it's a lot of history behind their college. A lot of history. Uh, they're actually in one of the movies that Denzel Washington uh made called The Great Debaters. Mm-hmm. And uh, like it had this one thing in the church. It was uh at first I called it acrylics, but I found that it was like moral moral mm-hmm. something like that. A mural. Okay. Yes, sir. A mural, mm-hmm. and it was like events of all like what they've been through because you know it's an HBCU. So right. It, they, it was, like, history of all of what they've been through and stuff and, like, where they are now. And it was all around the church. And okay. Very, so so cool. history and interest, uh, obviously going to play baseball. Yes, sir. Okay. I did a little research on the baseball team. Looks like they're, they're a good ball club. Yes, sir. You know, sir. They, they have a uh, they have a good record now. So um, what do you, you – whenever you get there, you uh, what are you going to major in? Um – I've been thinking about biology or business, one of the two so far. Uh, I've, I've learned you can do a lot of things through biology. Yeah. So, and I've been really interested in some of the things, the biology. Okay. What's, what are some of those interests? Uh, it's a, uh, I don't know if it's a pharmacist. It's something like that. Okay. Where they go in, like, they go to different areas and they sell different, uh, like, medicines and stuff. Okay. So, pharmaceutical rep? Yes. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm in sales. I, uh, I, sell, I sell plants for a living. And uh, the great thing about being in sales, Jane, is... You can always get yourself a raise every month if you go out there and you do the work. <laughs> yes, you know sir. you can you can always you can always. So, what's something that you'd like to tell your family, tell Menard, tell anybody who's watching right now? Yes, sir. Uh, I want to tell my family. Uh, thanks for always supporting me and being there for me, even if there was nobody there that was supporting me. Uh, thank you for providing the things to keep me from playing baseball, keep me to playing it. Uh, I want to thank them for that. I want to thank Menard for giving me the opportunity to come here and play uh, with the athletics, play baseball, football, you know, and have an opportunity to win. Excellent, man. Yes, sir. Excellent. That's good stuff. You're always welcome on this broadcast, man, anytime. uh, You know, hopefully uh, whenever you go to Wiley College, hopefully you'll be able to come back next year whenever we're broadcasting the games. And and like I said, if you you get a Sunday off, I mean, don't take Sunday off for for just that. (laughs) But if you do, come out to Buffalo Wild Wings and and visit with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. It's been a joy joy watching you play. Yes, sir. Thank you. So that's uh, Jaden Williams there. That's your – your sixth senior of the of the day for the for the Sonic class in baseball. Uh, definitely appreciate. Want to thank our sponsors. You know everybody's been involved with the process of this. Or four four six this season uh, to to certified transmission to Riverside Hospital to Exmark uh, Sinlaw Dealers. Also uh, Lanyap Home Care. Uh, we Sabine State Bank. I want to thank I want to thank all you guys uh, south of the four way. We also have, um, excuse me, Valex uh, Federal Credit Union, who's our our title sponsor for for 446 Sports, Wallace Eye Associates, Doug Young Nursery. You know, everybody's been, uh, Southern Air. You know, appreciate all appreciate all the the, the people who have been involved. John Wolf and his family, who is uh, who has been a sponsor. The A and A Club, um, Magnolia Construction, who who built our our perch. Uh, this has just been a wonderful season. It's not over yet. We're going to actually. Uh, we're gonna actually have the playoffs, but we will be on air this Friday uh, at the Nest, uh, where they're gonna have play si- uh, two six-inning uh, games against South Borgard, who's actually ranked number one and a uh, Division three uh, non-select. So it'll be a good tune-up for the for the boys. You know, getting ready for the playoffs the following week. I know the the brackets have come out today, uh, so hopefully. 
hopefully we'll know you know uh, this evening who the who the two possible opponents will be so uh um, on behalf of Danny Clear throughout the season, uh, uh, Chuck Perkins, Doug Gann, I'm Nick Magnano. May the Lord bless you and have a good evening.